Dear sisters and brothers, welcome to reflect the gospel of the 26th Sunday in ordinary time in year C. This Sunday we are reflecting the parable of the rich man and Lazarus from the gospel of Luke chapter 16 verses 19 to 31. Jesus very clearly speaks to us how we have to prudently use the wealth the riches given to us. The parable of the rich man and Lazarus is a well-known parable. There we read the rich man lived in luxury. He wore purple and linen clothes and feasted every day but he did not care the Lazarus who lived in front of his gate. Lazarus had to eat what is fallen from this rich man's table. Dogs came and licked his wounds. Jesus tells us that Lazarus died and the angels carried him to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died, but he was buried. Where did he go? To the nether world. There was torment he suffered there. In his agony he raised his eyes and looked up and saw Abraham and Lazarus with him. He recognizes them. He cries out to Abraham, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Have mercy upon me. Send Lazarus to me. I am suffering here so that he can dip his finger in the water and cool my tongue. Father Abraham rejected this request saying that no one can go from here to there or from there to here. Besides, you have enjoyed your life in the earth. Lazarus has suffered. Now he, has, he is enjoying. In Matthew chapter 5, in the Sermon on the Mount, in the Beatitudes, Jesus tells us, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn. They will be comforted. Here the fate is reversed. The rich man enjoyed and had everything in life. And now he is suffering. And Lazarus suffered. And now he is comforted. He is enjoying. We see here the existence of heaven and the earth. The rich man during his life had Everything and he enjoyed, now he is suffering. The Lazarus is rewarded with the eternal bliss. Then the rich man requests Father Abraham to send Lazarus to his house, to his family, to his brothers. He has five brothers so that they will not end up in this place of torment. Father Abraham says they have the prophets, they have the Moses, which means the Torah and the prophets. They have to read those teachings. They have to listen to the priests. They have to live accordingly. Then the rich man requests again, no, Father Abraham, if someone after death, if they go back and inform them, if Lazarus go and tell them, they will believe. They will live then good life. Father Abraham tells him, no, if they don't listen to the prophets and Moses, the priests, they will not also listen to someone after, uh, if someone goes after death to them, to warn them. In this month on 19th, uh, we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of La Salette, the apparition of Our Lady of La Salette uh, in France. In 1846, September 19, she appeared to Maximin and Melanie in 1846 and warned them that with the need of repentance, the need, the need of conversion. It was 12 years before Lourdes and 70 years before Fatima. And we see that Our Lady appeared so many times in this world in several places. But then let us ask uh, this question, do we really believe 
each time when our lady or any other saints appear in this world they are all died and gone to heaven and then when they come back and give us a warning how is our attitude are we suspicious the normal human tendency is not to believe on those things that's why here in the gospel too abraham tells to uh, the rich man that even if someone goes Uh, from here to earth and wants them they will not believe sisters and brothers the central message of this parable is that we have to share the wealth with others the riches that is given to us is not just for our use for our enjoyment we should have solidarity with the poor we should be caring the poor in our world today we know that the riches are not shared equally especially in the poor countries in africa in asia in south america the riches are in the hands of a few few people in a corrupted world the politicians or the rich people they accumulate more wealth and it is not been shared to the poor there are also international organizations and there are rich people doing a lot of charity but still we see that the selfishness in the use of wealth in our world jesus has said that it is hard for the rich to enter in in the heaven let us ask are we attached to wealth are we indifferent towards the needs of the poor the needs of the people who are around us how he we handle the riches given to us the rich man in the gospel is without a name he could be this rich man could be any one of the rich any one of the rich people in this world who do not care the poor lazarus in front of their gate that we read often in the newspapers how uh, how many people die of poverty or hunger in this world are we not responsible for the suffering the hunger in this world this sunday let us reflect about our indifference let us reflect our about our attachment towards the material goods and let us be generous let us care the poor around us friends be sharers of the word of god by sharing this video with one or two of your friends god bless you